Hey y'all, hey, it's Shrey Monet, back to y'all with another video. Today's video is super, 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 super needed. Normally, I come on here and I tell you guys how excited I am and pumped up for the video. And this is just another video where I am super excited and super pumped up. But sis, we need to talk. This is a topic that I'm super passionate about. Something that can really, really help you guys. And it's just the fact that you guys are offering too many different products. You're giving your customers too many different options. Six, I need you to find a lane and I need you to stick with it. I need you to find a lane and I need you to stay in it. You guys are offering too many different products, too many different services to your customers. And it's honestly something that's hindering you probably from some sales. So you really want to make sure that you stay tuned for this video, you guys. So like I said earlier, you guys are offering too many different products and services, too many different options for your customers. It is really, really difficult for you to be a smaller, newer business and try to be a one-stop shop. I get a ton of clients come to me and they're like, Troya, I want to sell clothing. I want to sell lashes. I want to sell makeup. I want to sell hair products. I want to do the whole nine. And I'm like, sis, if your customers do not know what to buy, guess what they're going to do? They're not going to buy anything. If people don't know what to buy, they're not going to buy anything. It is extremely difficult for smaller businesses to start off by trying to be a one-stop shop. And to be honest, how many websites do we know that are one-stop shops? Because it's extremely difficult to e execute no matter what level you are at within business. You guys really, really want to go through and to think about that. So, for example, um, I love to give this example of Fenty. Rihanna's brand Fenty, right? So any of the Fenty brands um, or any of Rihanna's brands, for example. So Rihanna has Fenty Beauty, which is her makeup line. She has Fenty Skin, which is her skincare line. She has Savage X Fenty, which is her lingerie line. And then she also has Fenty, which is like a clothing brand that she actually just put a pause on um, just now, or like recently. So those are four different brands, right? And guess what Rihanna does? She executes it so well. All four of these brands have different homes. They have different hubs. They have different target audiences, which means that they have different websites. And you guys want to make sure that you are doing the same thing. If you do want to do a skincare line or if you do want to do a beauty line and you do want to do a fashion line, make sure that they have their separate homes. It's extremely difficult to execute that all into one place, which is why, for example, Rihanna, for example, may have not gone through and tried to do all of her different businesses into one. If she were to offer skincare, beauty, fashion, lingerie, all at one site, all at one time, it's going to confuse it's going to confuse her customers. They're going to come on there and they're like, "Ooh, Charles is so much on here. I don't even know what to buy." They're not going to buy anything. So a lot of you guys who are starting off and you want to do all of these different things, slow your roll. There's time, you know, there's time for you to go through and to build upon your different businesses. But just really, really kind of wait in and figure out what lane you want to start off in. Go in that lane and then continuously grow, you know, later on. Never start off with a bunch of different products, you guys. Like I said, if they don't know what to buy, they're not going to buy anything. So this goes back to my favorite topic of all time. Y'all know I got to mention it in every video target audience you guys have to figure out who you're targeting what are their wants what are their needs as a consumer you know what are some of the different things that they want what are some of the different things that they need what problem are you solving for that consumer what problem are you solving for this person that's something that you guys really really want to go through and think about allow your audience to tell you what they want next so if you guys are like, okay, I am, you know, a skincare line and I want to go through and I want to add makeup products, for example, figure out if your customers even want that. They might just want skincare. They don't want makeup. And then you can go through and make that a separate business entity because you know that your target audience is a little bit more concentrated. They're a little bit more into, you know, the things that you are, you know, offering at first. And then maybe you can expound upon it by making a different site for it or something like that later on down the line. So really just go through and wait in and figure out what your target audience wants. What does your target audience need? What are some of their wants and their desires? I always talk about problem solving. Problem solving in business is one of the, the topics that aren't as sexy. You know, it's not the topic that people talk about a lot, but it is definitely the topic that's going to keep you in business, right? You really want to figure out what 
problem am I solving by having this business? Chick-fil-A, for example, does a great job at this. They do a fantastic job at it, and this is why they're so successful, and this is why that they stand out amongst their competitors. Chick-fil-A stands out amongst their competitors because they know the wants, needs, and desires of their target audience. So, for example, Chick-fil-A, they offer you fast service, they offer you quality food, and they offer also offer you amazing customer service. That's just three things, right? So they're offering you quick service, amazing food, and um, great customer service. McDonald's, for example. We go to McDonald's, you're going to be in line all day. You go to any of these fast food restaurants, you're going to be in line all day. Chick-fil-A, they get you in, they get you out. They offer you amazing food. McDonald's, you're going to get a thrown together burger. And that's going to be that. You go to McDonald's, you're going to get a rude customer at the drive through line. You go to any fast food other than Chick-fil-A, no one's going to say my pleasure. They're not going to say, you know, thank you, you're welcome. They're not going to have those different manners. And that's what Chick-fil-A does, and that's how they are excelling. And that's a marketing strategy that they put together is by offering those different things that their competitors are not offering, you guys. So you want to make sure you figure out, okay, what is my competitor not doing? How can I go through and brainstorm and try to make my business better than my competitors? You also want to go through and talk about and think about, you know, what we talked about earlier. What's my area of expertise? Is my area of expertise loungewear? Is my area of expertise club wear? Is my area of expertise casual wear? Go through and find your lane. Stay in your lane. Build upon that lane. Master that lane. Then add different things on later on down the line, you guys. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys. I really hope that it was. You guys seem to really, really enjoy my rant videos where I'm really just coming on here and just ranting about different things that I'm seeing in the industry. Like I said, whether it be a coaching session of mine or whether it be just me browsing on the web and just seeing different business talks and different things like that. So if you are someone who is offering too, too many different products, go through, find your lane, stay in it. Or if you are someone who's having a hard time finding their um, problem that they're solving for their business, it's going to take time. That's not something that's going to happen overnight. But go through, you know, brainstorm upon it a little bit more, figure out what you can do there. Work out those kinks and definitely go through and master that as well, you guys. So like I said, hopefully that this was helpful for you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Give this video a big, big, big thumbs up if it was helpful. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.